Welcome to Demu's Tutorials. This is my first video on sheet metals. This will cover basic terms in sheet metals mostly related to manufacturing process. Sheet metals have thickness less than 6 mm. Its chemical composition helps it to be formed into shapes. Sheet metals are ductile, malleable, formable but not much machinable. Sheet metals are made by rolling process. Rolled between rolling cylinders to obtain desired thickness. Question. Explain hot and cold rolling process and tell which is better. In hot rolling long coil of sheet metal is rolled in between cylinders at temperature above recrystallization. Metal shrinks after it cools, hence less control over thickness. Hot rolled coils are further rolled at temperature below its recrystallization temperature. This process helps to achieve more control over the thickness. In cold rolling, shrinkage is negligible hence better control over thickness. Cold rolled steels are expensive due to inclusion of both the rolling methods. Question. What is effect of cold rolling on grain structure and how it is overcome? Answer. During cold rolling, as metal is rolled the temperature below recrystallization point, the grains become compressed, elongated and uneven. This causes the metal to become less formable. Annealing is a stress-relieving process. Post-process of cold rolling induces softness and ductility to enhance bending, shaping and machining. Parts are heated above upper critical temperature. After heating the material is allowed to cool in the close furnace. Question. Explain different sheet metal operations. Answer. Two types of operations are involved in sheet metal. Cutting and forming. Cutting is material removal for further forming processes. And forming is for giving a particular shape to sheet, or making certain designs on the sheet surface without material removal. Question. What are cutting and forming operations? Answer. Again they are subcategorized into following types depending on output. Cutting operations. Shearing, blanking, punching, trimming, parting, slitting, lancing, notching, perforating, nibbling, shaving, cut off and dinking. And forming operations are Bending, embossing, coining, deep drawing, stretch forming and roll forming. Question. What are the types of press tools? Answer. There are four types. Simple press tool. Single operation in one stroke. Compound press tool. Two operations in one stroke. Progressive press tool. Keeps moving the sheet metal to subsequent stations after each stroke. Combined press tool. Two operations in one stroke at two different stations. Question. How does the progressive tool works? Progressive tool has input coil at one end, it revolves for advancing the workpiece of sheet to make it move to next stage. The revolving input cylinder takes pause during stroke. Sheet metal advances towards finish component after each stage and finally coil is collected in scrap bin. The tool at last stage has provision for separating component from scrap. Depending on number of stages, progressive tool requires sheet pulling arrangement at various stages. Question. 
Question. Tell about thickness of sheet metal. Answer. One of the most important decisions when working with sheet metal is deciding what thickness you'll need. Similar to wire, sheet metal thickness is measured in gauges, with a higher number indicating a thinner sheet. To measure the thickness, you can use a sheet metal gauge, which will show you thickness in both gauge number and thousandths of an inch. One important note, however, is that ferrous and non-ferrous sheet metals of the same gauge have different thicknesses, so you'll need one gauge for ferrous metals, and one for non-ferrous. Question. Differentiate between punch and die. Answer. In general consideration punch has projection of inner shape and die has cavity of outer shape. It is not mandatory that punch is on top and die in on lower side of press tool. Consider punch is male portion and die is female portion of press tool. Thanks for watching. Log on to dies.biz for more engineering tutorials.